Hey everybody, and welcome back to McD Plays DuckTales Remastered. Today we're going to be getting ready to head into the uh, Transylvania. The That's correct. So let's skip game. this since we've already seen it last time. And let's go to the computer and get ready to head on in. We're going after some sort of treasure. I don't even know what it is. Pack your bags, boys. We're off to Transylvania, and we're no coming back without the coin of the Lost Realm. Ah. So the coin of the Lost Realm. I don't even remember that from the original game, but that's just, you know, lack of memory. It's been probably a couple years since I've played the original DuckTales, so... I will say that I do like uh, the monsters in this level. Very classic, and they did a good job with redoing them. This is it, kids. Draculesti Manor. Home of the legendary Drake Von Vladstone. Heir to the coin of the Lost Realm! Boy, it's kind of creepy out here, isn't it? Uh, uh, Uncle Scrooge, we're not gonna break into this guy's house, are we? Of course no, of we course are. Not, Louis. This castle has been abandoned for centuries. Hey, look at this! The Junior Woodchuck Guidebook says Drake von Gladstone was best known by his nickname, Count Dracula Duck. <sighs> Is there really a monster in there, Uncle Scrooge? Ah, uh, don't be silly, Webby. Yeah, there's no such thing as Dracula. Right! Ah, uh, he is right, isn't he, Uncle Scrooge? Uh, of course he is, Louis. Vampires, banshees, and mischievous spirits are just a lot of superstitious hocus-pocus. But you better stick close to me, just in case. And you guys can follow me over here because I think there's a couple gems. We're just going to collect a little bit of a bankroll right from the get-go before we get logged into another dialogue scene. They are plentiful after all in this game. Oh, yeah, that was totally worth it coming over here for that little thing, so... Yeah, we'll be heading on in. Uh, I believe this is the only time that you'll be heading to Transylvania in this game, uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, the first time you actually... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Now you boys stay put and keep an eye on Wee Webigale. I'll be back with the treasure in no time. Aw, oh, nuts. We want to come with you, Uncle Scrooge. Don't worry. I'll be back with the coin before you can say E Pluribus Unum. E Purple Bus Whoom? Yeah, I'm not sure that's as fast as you think it is. Besides, why should we have to stay here just because Webby's a big chicken? Yeah, we're not afraid of whatever's hiding out there, are we? You boys are so mean. I'll show you who's not afraid of the dark. Wait, Webby! Good job, Webby. Oh, no! Huey, Dewey, Louie! Of course. Everything will be fine, my darling. Wait here, and I'll be back with the lads lickety-split. Alright, so as I was uh, saying a few moments ago, in the original DuckTales game, you had to go to Transylvania to collect one of the um, uh, artifacts, or, you know, one of the treasures. And then you had to go back at the end of the game for the final showdown um, with, uh, I believe, Dracula. Um, so... This time around, that is not the case. Um, WayForward went ahead, took out the repetitiveness of that, and just added a brand new level, which we will get to see in a couple episodes. So, we're going to start off here and collect a little bit of money. Um, the side quest this time around is saving the boys, of course, because uh, Webby had to go and F things up and try to be all brave, and then subsequently got the boys captured. So, moving around here, taking out all the, the, these dead ducks, which is pretty morbid, if I do say so myself. It's one thing if it's the skeleton of a dead animal, not a duck, but, eh, whatever. Oh, getting all this free money, because after all, I would like to pick up some more stuff in the art gallery, uh, which I will probably do at the end of the game. I think there's some on these steps, right? Yeah, a couple of them, and let's not get hit by this ghost. Still only have three hearts. Hopefully Transylvania will be... Uh, the hidden treasure to Transylvania will have, um, instead of an actual treasure, uh, a heart, which would be cool. Let's not take any damage, please. Thank you. Hit it again. Get out of that. Oh, that's a ghost. 
Let's hit you. Okay. And there's one more over here. Let's hit this. Yeah, no thanks. Let's go down here. And I believe the first nephew should be over here somewhere. Um, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of platforming over thorns and what have you before we get to him. Um, I did state, uh, I believe in like the first episode, that I really do love the job that they did with the music. The one thing I do kind of gripe about is the Transylvania music. They're, they're adding like dubstep or, or, or electronica or something to it, and I'm just not fond of it. That was too close. Okay, here's the first nephew. So this ghost we can actually hit, because he's not a ghost. I'm pretty sure you can tell what this thing is. Thankfully, he doesn't take as many hits as a boss does. Just the standard three. Yo! I'm out of here. Hey, that wasn't a ghost at all. It was a beagle boy in disguise. Trying to beat me to my treasure, no doubt. But it'll take more than just an old bed sheet and flower dust to frighten off Scrooge McDuck. Look, Uncle Scrooge, that beagle boy dropped something. It's an old piece of paper. Twist me, Tartan. It's an ancient rune. You mean like a magic spell? Hi, lad. At least part of one. Gee, I wonder who tore it into pieces. We'll worry about that later. Right now, I want you to head to the front door and wait for me. I'll be back once I've found the treasure. Off you go, lad. So one nephew down, two more to go. We gotta find two more runes. Um, I have yet to hit this special area over here, so let's try to do it. Okay, we did it. And what's for grabs? Just a little bit more treasure. And we'll pogo into this mirror. Yeah, uh, Way Forward did an awesome job, and Jake Kaufman did an awesome job at, at the music to this game. I'm just not particularly fond of the the dubstep they got working here. Little hidden area. We'll climb this chain up here, and I think this is going to get us to our second boy soon. Oh, let's get this treasure while we're at it. As you can see, we can head over there. Um, we don't have access via this room, but we'll be able to get over there soon. Um, the mummy ducks are back as well, and I think those were probably my favorite enemy and also most loathed enemy in the original game because their patterns can be so unpredictable. Um, it, it, this time around in Remastered, they do have a pattern that you can kind of spot. Uh, little, little visual cues that they have. I'm not going to worry about any of these treasure chests. They're more of a pain than anything to get. Um, I think they're some of the, not hardest, but again, kind of a just a hassle all around and we're gonna head into this statue room and avoid any statues that want to crush us like that okay so you're gonna be like that let's crush you get some of this and hit this guy right oh and we've got a treasure chest this time let's see what's going on over here we've got another mirror this might be the correct way to go not 100% positive. Okay, so it warps us to the farther right of this room. Oh, okay, so I almost screwed that up. And he's going to walk back. Let's go ahead. It is ball and chain, and we can jump on this one. Let's see if we can time this just right. Yeah, we got it. Or we didn't get it. But let's get the one up at least. Um, I don't want to go there yet. Uh, I do want to go into this mirror, though. This should be taking us uh, on the way to another nephew. And we're going to go through a little minecart section, which were also in the original game. Just got to do some fancy ducking, haha, <laughs> no pun intended, and uh, jumps. Get over here. Thank you for the ice cream, because I still don't have a lot of health. And whoop, there we go, there's that. No idea, I think we just have to get to the end of it, Scrooge. Deal with it, you're getting money, yo. Alright, and uh pit should be coming up. Yep, we're going to avoid this. And there should be the second nephew. Yep, right here. I got Scrooge! 
Less talking this time around, but more ghosts. Actual real ghosts. So let's do this. There we go. And we should be able to get him on this last bit. There we go. <laughs> well, I guess you found me out. Oh, well. You guys got any lunch? No. no. Okay, okay. You don't gotta be all touchy about it. See ya. Ah, uh, that guy gives me the heebie-jeebies. He was starting to look at me like I was lunch. Well, next time he'll think twice before scrapping with Scrooge McDuck. Speaking of scraps, he dropped this huck of Scrooge. Ah, it looks like another piece of that torn up sorcery. Ah, uh, say what? A magic spell. And it's nearly complete. Just one piece left to find. If only I knew where to start looking. Well, that bungle boy did say this house has an illusion wall. Uh, do you think he meant... Of course, a secret passage. Oh, no wonder I've been having so much trouble finding anything around here. Good lad. Now, off you go. I need you to wait at the entrance with the others. How do these Beagle Boys keep getting work, man? They just tend to screw up all the time. I mean, I guess that's a staple for, for you know, henchmen and stuff, but you've got... You've got these guys tasked with all of these important jobs. You would think that the main villains should just be doing them themselves instead of dropping off, saying, hey, hold on to this piece of paper, don't lose it, instead of, hey, I'll just keep it at my side. Uh, why would you trust, you know, fatty, roidy, dopey, and tiny to do that? Uh, what are their real names anyway? I just know them as the boys. Um, I think one of the beagles might have mentioned the leader's name, but i got to figure out what those other guys are. So, if you know them, definitely just let me know, because I am kind of curious, and I'm too lazy to get on Wikipedia and look it up, which is always a bountiful area for information. Let's head down here. And we're back into the one room we were at. So now, we gotta find the third nephew, and this always tends to be a pain, so let's see if he will be down here and is it this way that has no I don't think that way has the way down let's hit that's not what I want to do I want to hit it right here so I can get past please thank you we're gonna head down a chain if I can find it take out this big old duck oh hey I I can blame a lot of the controls on my part but I again I also think and it might just be me but I think some of the controls are a little spotty a little rough to deal with the inputs I should say we're going to head down this chain, and I think our last nephew is going to be... No, I think the heart that I wanted is going to be right here. Yep, we got our heart. The nephew should probably be on the far left then. Take out all these mummy ducks. We could take a chance and try to bust open some of these. Hey, can you please just knock it off? Just go the other way. We could take a chance at hitting some of these coffins, but I don't really want to do that and, and sacrifice a chance of being hit by you know a ghost or anything. You need to just leave, man. Go the other way. Please. I'm not even paying attention to you. Look at my duck butt right here. I'm just going to take a hit if you're going to keep doing this. All right. That's it. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, God. Damn! What the hell, game? It's my my duck butt. Take that. All right, hop on your head. Get up here. Oh, well. If I don't have to break anything open or hit anything, I'll take the free money. Hop on you. Hop on you. Causing mad migraines with our cane. And ooh, a little bit more money. It's so tiny, but it's obviously worth it. Yep. Here's the last nephew. Okay, I think this third time they're gonna add two ghosts to deal with at once. Oh hey. Alright. Got two hits left. Let's not let's not screw this up. I definitely don't want to die on the boss. There we go. It's tiny. Not so tough without your army helmet, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Wait till the gang in Sing Sing finds out you were knocked flat by an old guy and his cane. <laughs> yeah, thank you, lad. Yeah? Well, you better be careful where you go poking around, McDuck, or you's gonna have much bigger problems than me. So long!
Now, what do you suppose he meant by that? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, quick, lad, see if there's a scrap of paper lying about. Oh, Jesus. Uh, you mean like this one, Uncle Scrooge? Exactly. He's blind for this one, too, and he's making kids riddle. do all the work. Uh, what to do? That's what I'm about to find out. Quick, lad, go meet Webby and the others at the entrance. And all of you, stay put. Who is this Napoleon motherfucker right here gazing at me? I feel like his eyes fo His eyes do follow! That's kind of cool. I like that. Unless I'm just going crazy. Maybe Madam Duck does that as well. That was too close for comfort because we are low on health. Oh, okay, we've got one hit left. Let's not die too quickly. Let's try to actually make that health back. I would like to do that. We'll check out these two chests, see if there's an ice cream cone or the such to satiate my hunger. Nope, just money. Exactly what I don't need at this time. Um, ice cream cone. No, a ghost. Uh. Okay, can you head to the right, please? Damn it. Just keep on going. I'm not here. Thank you. Take you out. We are going to head up. And that one place that I kind of accidentally walked into, this is where we need to go now. We have the three runes, and we're going to head to this big old mirror. Watch this. Part of the spell matches the inscriptions on this mirror. Luck of the ducks! I solved the riddle! Well, what riddle, Luck of Scrooge? Boys, I thought I told you to stay with Webby. They did stay with me, Uncle Scrooge. I'm right here. Oh! What a pretty mirror. Aye, lass. And if I'm right, using this spell will reveal the foul perpetrator behind all these shenanigans. Well, let's find out who it is, shall we? <laughs> Magic at the spell. Ach, I should have known you'd be behind this. Oh, Scroogey, my old friend. You wouldn't believe how much fun it is watching you run around making a fool of yourself. What? <laughs> oh, you really don't think you need ancient sorcery to find coin of lost realm, do you? No, I had Beetle Boy's hide paper scraps to throw you off trail. Ah, Why, you sneaky, conniving. The plot thickens. Please, save compliments for garden party. What garden party? The one I will throw in celebration when I get home with lost coin. So long, fools. <laughs> Gee, she is a very nice. You said it, Webby. All right, you kids stay here. I'm going to track down that witch and give her a piece of my mind. You gotta hand it to uh, the Scrooge and Magicka voice actors, man. Uh, from what I know, both are in their 90s and returned for this game, and I'm gonna die. Oh, man. Is there some health over here? It's kind of eerily quiet. Would like to get an ice cream cone about now. I don't want money, I want... Aw, oh, jeez. Jump! Oh, nope. Cornered myself. And I'm dead. Alright, well, at least we'll restart right here. <laughs> the first death of the series. That's that's a good start. And the second hit, right there. We need an ice cream cone. I don't need this money. Let's have this ghost trail us. I'm fine with that. Is there ice cream over here? No? Ice cream? Ice cream? Maybe a sundae? Maybe something? You give me some health? No! Alright, let's go fight the boss. Scrooge, why must you always meddle? That coin is mine! This bitch takes lots of hits. I think more than just nine as well, so... Oh! I gotta remember her patterns here. It's been a while since I've played this. Oh, okay. And we'll hop over here. I should have just been pogoing, but I I guess that'll work too. Oh man. All the fire. Alright. Wham. Right in your noggin. Oh, I need to get that mirror. There we go. I did not want to take a hit. Okay, and she's gonna turn into her buzzard form, which was in the original. And stomp on her. Okay, dodge this attack that always comes after. And I've died quite a few times to that. Uh, hard to believe, I know, but I really wasn't noticing the pattern at first, so. Luckily, in normal, you have more health. 
and you have uh, more lives that you can accumulate. Oh, let's jump, jump. I really should be using the pogo, but I'm not. And it's working out just fine. Let's stomp on you again. Stomp on your head. And we'll let you turn into your, your bird thing here, which is not flattering whatsoever. Jump right on your back. Dodge your attack. Again, kind of a pain unless you get down that timing. Probably the most challenging parts of her fight. Except for maybe... Uh, okay, we got past that. Uh, the fire lava part thing that happens next. Oh, hey! I can't believe I dodged all that, too. This part right here, if you're just not on your game, can really be a pain. Alright, we're doing well. And we've gotten lucky uh, every time she spawns into those mirrors. Sometimes she doesn't spawn right at the bottom, which is easy for me to pick out. We should be finishing her up, I want to say, on this next hit, which would be nice. Maybe it was nine hits, I don't know. Yep, that's it. Alright, second stage down. Not these inferior mirror and beam spells. It's the last time I shop for spell ingredients at this cow store. You haven't seen lots of magic of the spell. You may have coin of lost realm, but your number one dime will soon be mine. <laughs> yeah, All right, let's grab this coin and get out of here. Second stage down. Proved to be a little bit more difficult than usual, but hey, we made out. We made it out almost unscathed. Thankfully, we have lots of lives, and we just got an extra health uh, spot, so we can take an extra hit through the next uh, couple levels. A lot of money that run, and I didn't even really try, so cool on that. Do you think Magicka will keep out of our way now, Uncle Scrooge? It's hard to say, lad. Folks like her have a way of popping up at the most inconvenient moments. Well, when it comes to Magicka, there's no such thing as a convenient moment. Too true, Louie. Now then, where to next, lads? Alright, guys. Well, that'll wrap it up for this episode. Thank you for joining me, and we'll be taking on the mines next time. So, see you soon.